Hi guys, I'm going to do your tutorial for when you get your makeup from me. First of all, thank you for purchasing from me. I am here as your resource, so whenever you have questions, please, please reach out to me. We can set up a FaceTime if that's easiest for you. Um, you can text me, email me, whatever is easiest for you. So, we'll go ahead and get started. And I'm going to show you how I like to show my new clients how to do their makeup um, as simple as possible. So when you purchase from me, you're probably going to need either get a compact that has four tins like this, or you'll get a double decker that has the four on the top, and then either the lip and cheek, the bronzer here, setting powder, and then eyeshadows that I customized for you. So we're going to start with a clean, moisturized face. If you don't want to use primer, at least please use a moisturizer on your face and let it sit for a few minutes before you do your makeup. Um, I moisturize and then I prime. So, we are going to start with our contour. That's the darkest color. Mine is shade Indigo. I just take my finger in my tin, swipe back and forth, and for the contour, you'll keep it high up on your cheekbones. And it all depends on your face shape. If you have questions about your face shape and how to contour yours, please reach out to me. So, for forehead, I like to keep it close to my hairline. I don't really go crazy with contouring my forehead a whole lot. I just like it because it adds some depth. And I also do underneath my chin to create a shadow so that it appears thinner. You can also do your nose here and here. I'm just gonna show you in case that's something you're interested in. I don't do this every day. And again, it's all, I know this looks a little crazy, your preference. You do what you're comfortable with and the amount of makeup that you want. I always keep a towel with me. I'm in my spare room, but if you're doing your makeup in the bathroom, you're going to have a towel anyways. So from there, we're going to do our brightening highlight, which is the lightest of the two highlights. Mine is sunlit. I use a yellowy base because of my discoloration underneath my eyes. So that's where we're gonna go in first. And I know you think I'm looking a little crazy, but you guys have seen my before and afters. This makeup blends like a freaking dream. So I use a good bit under my eyes just because I have dark, deep set eyes. Again, that'll just depend on your face shape. I put stuff up on my forehead here and then the tip of my nose, chin here, and right by my nose because I get a lot of redness. The yellow helps cancel out the redness. And again, depending on your skin, I may give you a yellowy brightening highlight or you might not need it. So from here, we're going to go into the main highlight, which is like your foundation color. So that was my concealer, the brightening highlight, and then the foundation color. These are not my colors. I'm just showing you an example of a palette. So my main highlight color is amber. And I kind of put that anywhere we have not hit yet. So your main highlight, which is this, the foundation shade, your contour, and the brightening highlight all have coverage. So all you need is one layer of makeup. And yes, you look crazy while doing it, but who cares? You blend it out and it looks freaking awesome. That's why I love the cream-based makeup because it looks so natural once it's all blended out. And it looks like my skin. My skin has a, a good amount of texture just due to acne scarring and right now I have a lot of melasma from being pregnant, which is age spots that really show up due to your hormones and pregnancy. So, from here we're gonna blend. Um, when you get your compact from me, I'm either going to recommend one, two, three brushes, depending on what you want and your preference, and the brushes have different coverage levels. So I use the buff brush, which has a smaller end and a bigger end. I like to go in with the smaller end and do my light areas first. And my light areas are my, um, brightening highlight 
and you're not wiping this makeup when you're doing it, you're gonna try and keep it in the spot where you put it in and just press the product into your skin. So we're gonna go in all the light areas. We can both do both the brightening and my main highlight color. It may seem like a more steps than you're used to at first, but honestly it's not. It's all in one compact. Instead of having like your foundation in a bottle or a tube, it'll be in a compact. Instead of having a bronzer compact itself, it'll be in a tin for you. So I know a lot of it seems overwhelming at first, but actually it is in the end simplifying things for you. So I like to use this buff brush. If I feel like I'm not getting enough area, I flip to the bigger side for the sake of time. But as you can see, it really, really took care of a lot of my redness. Okay, so we're just gonna keep blending. Again, I like to use a different brush for my contour. You, If I give you the buff brush, you just flip this over to the big side or the small side, and you can blend out your contour with that. I'm just going to um, switch brushes, just because I have them. And again, the brushes I recommend for you are all up to your preference and how many tools you want. So if you're a traveler, it's super, super nice because, let's see, this is what you would pack in your makeup. Um, and if you don't travel a lot, you can still keep your space clutter free with having just one compact instead of like, you should see my vanity full of makeup that I don't use. I'm actually like trying to simplify things now with having a baby. And I can't wait to get rid of all that stuff. So we're just gonna keep blending. Whenever you blend your contour, you wanna keep trying, try to blend it up because we want our face to appear lifted. And again, this can take you five to eight minutes once you get it down. My mom has been using it for a little bit more than a week now. And she said she already knows that she can do it quicker than what she had. Even though she said she's really enjoy, enjoying using it. But she got her steps down. And now it's very simple. So, okay, we are almost all blended out. Also, I will always recommend the perfecting sponge for all of my new clients. This will just help you blend everything out to look more natural. It'll help pick up excess product. That also helps with the texture on your skin and cream-based products. I really like it for under my eyes. A lot of times I'll do my contour on my forehead and it looks too harsh for me. So I'll just blend it out. When you use this, you want to saturate it in water and wring it all out. Let me get all this here. You'll know that it is saturated enough because it gets bigger in size. Okay, so from here, if you did like the basic four palette, you're either gonna get a lip and cheek, which is a blush and lip, or you're gonna do a bronzer and you would have gotten that for me. It all just, again, depends on what you wanted to customize your palette like. So I'm gonna first go in with my bronzer. So if you were using this palette, this would be my bronzer, but I'm gonna use my shades. And bronzer, you wanna keep on the highest points of your face where the sun would hit it. If you were out in the sun, it's gonna hit the tops of your forehead. your cheeks and your nose and again if you don't like a crazy crazy darker highlight we go lighter it's all customized for you and I know this looks a little dark and intense right now but honestly it blends out so well I like to put it down so it blends into my neck so you don't have that harsh line between your makeup and your neck. Okay. 
and I'm using our bronzer and blush brush again I will recommend the double-sided brushes you can use this one for everything you can use the buff brush for your whole face it all just depends on how much you want to buy and how much you want to well be addicted <laughs> to Saint so from here I think this looks really really nice so far I'm gonna switch over to my smaller side and use my blush if this were my compact I would use this color for my blush and lip you do not need to use it for both you can use it for one or the other or you don't need to use blush at all I've had a few clients that don't like to use blush so we don't use blush I'm gonna go in with our color Hollywood which is a nice pinky color for today again keep it high up on your cheeks and you're just pressing the product into your skin these are super super pigmented so you're literally I'm dot dotting twice and then stippling 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 it into your I like to put blush on my nose if you don't you don't okay but it blends out really really nice what's nice about the lip and cheek is they have two purposes that was Hollywood which is a nice pinky color I'm gonna go in on my lips with nude which is a nude neutral on me super moisturizing and honestly I I really like lip shades that are similar to my skin and my lip color so from here if you purchase the four or the six with this and the finishing powder we're almost finished so your finishing powder I'm gonna say take your perfecting sponge and you go up and down in the product and this is powder and you are just going to dab that under your eyes this helps your makeup stay all day especially if you get warm like I do all day anywhere that you think you may crease which I tend to be forehead down my nose and right above my lip here so as you can see this still looks really natural it seems like I put a lot of product on my face but I didn't I only did one layer so we finished with the setting powder and then if I chose eyeshadows custom for you we can also do a tutorial on that um, that's all just preference again what I like to do if you're not good at eyeshadow and you don't want to brush or anything you take a color and you just smudge it across your eyelid so that's what I'm going to show you today so just smudge it across your eyelid with a finger and you can't say that you suck at eyeshadow anymore And again, these are super pigmented, so you don't need a lot. And it just adds a little, little bit of shimmer. So from there, the only other thing I'm gonna show you is our illuminator, which of course, again, is optional for anybody that gets color matched by me. I'm going to use ours and it's pearl. It's just a cream-based illuminator. And you put it high up on your cheekbones here and it just makes me pop a little bit and it's just like a highlighter in for other companies they call them highlighters we call them illuminators I like to put some up on my brow bone and we are good to go from there like I said thank you very much for purchasing um, your Saint products through me. If you have any questions, I am your resource. Um, I think this turned out pretty darn good. Um, I am absolutely obsessed with the company and, geez, and the products. So if you have any questions or if you wanna know the best contour or lip shades or blush shades, please just reach out to me. And again, thank you for tuning in.